So, you'd like to paint an art car? I think you should try it. It's a really fun way to make an old car have a lot of expression. I'm working on an art car right now. Started out as a big old gray Buick. So, the first thing you need to do is take off your artist cap and put on your home remodeling cap because you're going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or your favorite big box store and buy house painting supplies. Yes, not art supplies, but house painting supplies. The most important thing is to get a good primer. I like Zinser primer and this is a shellac based primer. It'll come out kind of milky and I use, make sure you stir it real well, and I use a disposable brush which is now stuck in here because it it's really hard to clean these so I just buy disposable ones and then I throw them out. So you want to coat the whole car with the Zinser primer. It dries almost immediately. I coat everything. The bumpers, the fenders, the hood, the trunk, and I try not to get it on the windows or the lights, but you can get it off with acetone or nail polish remover. The next thing you want to do is select your colors. This is my color palette but you can choose whatever color palette you like. I chose some very bright hot colors and some cool colors and I really like this periwinkle. I draw out my design with a skinny brush and then I fill it in just like when you were a kid and you colored in a coloring book. This one's turning out really fun. I might use big brushes to start out with, like this one. Sometimes I use sponge brushes like this one. They're all very inexpensive and I usually just throw them away. When you stop for the day, you can wrap them up in some plastic and save them for the next day. Now it's also nice to have some smaller art brushes for detail work and they're easy to find at a craft supply store.